Good morning everyone. My name is Hassan and I organize with No One Is Illegal Toronto. I want to begin by acknowledging that we're on the territories of the Mississaugas of the New Credit, lands that have been defended by the Haudenosaunee people in the Wendat Nation. I want to thank and I'm, wanna, and, I, and I'm honored to be standing here with my sister Wanda and my brother Clayton to be followed soon by my sister Melina. Because these indigenous nations, these indigenous warriors, these indigenous people are walking this path of resilience, this path of struggle, this path of survival, this path of defense of these lands and territories that have been ongoing for centuries and millennia. And that the work that we do in our cities, in our communities, on this march, in the days before and the days will follow, have to be grounded in the reality of indigenous struggle, of indigenous resurgence, of indigenous worldviews, and, um, and, 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 a, and a real desire to actually decolonize, to actually return to a place, um, not to return to a place, but to move forward into a place of decolonization. Yeah. yeah. We're going to see soon after that Naomi and Jerry speak about what it is the kind of world that we want to move towards. What is the kind of transition that is needed to move forward. So I want to take a moment and acknowledge what is the world that we live in today. Because as we stand here surrounded by glass towers, we need to name that system of injustice, that system of impoverishment, that system of destruction. That's that sociology and ideology and politics that says that the many must have all and that the rest of us must, must just be trodden upon, right? And that system has a name and that name is capitalism. And so we hear this march is about a turning away. This not just this march, but this movement, our movements are about turning away from capitalism. And as we sit here, here between these glass towers, we must remember that the real people of this city are in other parts. That they are in Scarborough, that they are in Rexdale, that we are in Malvern, that our communities are in the Philippines, in Guatemala, in Nepal, and in the Haiyan province of Philippines, where therefore our indigenous nations are struggling against climate change. Just as much as in the Athabasca, Chippewan First Nations, the, the indigenous communities, the Cree sisters and brothers are fighting for clean water and clean air. And so this march is also about turning away from racism, right? So it's about turning away from, cla from capitalism and racism. And then we need to acknowledge another process. We need to acknowledge that our communities are forced out of our lands because there is, because the because the earth has been shattered so much that it will not give us food. Because the air has been poisoned so much that we cannot breathe. And because the water has been destroyed so much that the fish will not come and feed us. And so we are forced to move in search for, in search for jobs, in search for justice, in search for dignity. And that dignity job, that search for economic society forces us to move and become migrants. And so this march is about understanding this global responsibility that we have. Because we sit here on top of the mountain, right? Because there, this, this is the top of the mountain, right? This is where the mining corporations make the decisions to impoverish our people. This is where the banks make the decision, where money changes hands faster than the blink of the eye, while we are barely surviving, uh, barely surviving. And every attempt at survival is met with repression, with state violence, with policing. And so, when we talk about capitalism, racism, and displacement, we have to offer another world. And the world we're offering is a world of caring communities, of resilient people who have survived a millennia, whose every day, whose every day is about surviving climate collapse and posing a new world. And so the question is, not just on July 5th, but every day before and every day after, people of color, indigenous people are paving the path of justice, yeah. of just transition. Yeah. And so not only do people, will some people be on the streets, but we will continue the fight in our city. Thank you. Yeah.